Yeah, hello. It's Friday, 28th of June, 2024. Okay, so I am uh, 27 years old. I just got out of the psych ward. But just before we start that, and I go to Italy, uh, a week before when I got out of solitary confinement because of what I brought the trip to the adult entertainment center, <coughs> the one psychiatrist or professor said to me, he says, uh, this one doesn't talk very much out of the four, he said to me, he goes, you know those 11 people that were with you in your group? And I said, yeah, I've known them for a couple of years now. He goes, they all got healed. They're all, they're all out of here. They're all gone. They're all, they all got let go. And he goes, it's never happened before. He goes, each one had different ailments and everyone is now out of here. And so I thought that was amazing. And he said, it's never happened before. But he also said, you're going to be in trouble because they don't like stuff like that. And again, your predictions are starting to come true. And yeah, you're going to get in a lot of trouble here. So then the other professor told me about the lobotomy. I didn't even know what that was. But I got out of there, and it was good, yeah. And uh, well, the first day I got home, or second day I got home, mom and dad had tickets for Italy, and we left that weekend. It was like I think I got home on a Monday or Tuesday, and by Friday and Saturday we were in Italy, all three of us. Uh, I promised my mom and dad I wouldn't do any psychic stuff in Italy because the, they were still scared for me, and uh, I would spend a year there till I was 28 years old. And uh, I think my mom and dad's idea was to find me a wife or something, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, I didn't do really psychic stuff, but I sort of did, but I didn't let anybody know about it. So what is this is, uh, you know what deja vu is, when you've been around that corner, Okay, angels sometimes help you with deja vu. This is my perspective on it, so it might be different than anybody else's. So let's say you're turning around that corner and there's things that you've seen before and you know are there. The first time, you've done this a few times already, the first time you did it, you didn't spend enough time or you did it too quickly. The theory of this is, let's say someone's walking down the street and you're walking this way, right? And in front of them, something bad is going to happen. So you intervene and you stop them for a second for some silly reason. Uh, hello, uh, your shoes are untied. A anything to stall this person. Because if you stall them, that few seconds, that, that piano that's going to fall, doesn't fall on its head. Now... The deja vu part of it is, is you don't make it in time or you're too early. So the angels can reset time so that this happens again. Now, you yourself won't notice what is going to happen to this person because this person will go on with his life. And this might not happen in a few minutes. This might be a lot longer. It's not necessarily going to be a piano or something. It could be anything from a lightning hitting him or anything. You just had to either stop him or speed him up and that's what the angels will, will give you deja vu for to help another person now knowing this when i went to italy i uh i was able to do that kind of thing without letting anybody know and it, it was pretty easy and it, it was basic for me anyway and i continued to do those things and then an angel came and says listen you're going to be gifted a cross, blessed by John Paul II, and a necklace, and a bracelet. And these three items, plus yourself, will be needed later on in your life to save somebody. And I says, you guys know how much later in my life this will be needed? And they said, well, this will be, this will be told to you later. That's the best we can do right now. So these items I obtained, well, I was given, actually, so I didn't even have to worry about obtaining them. And for finding a wife or a girlfriend or something in Italy, my dad's town wasn't very big and uh, started dating this one girl. And uh, 
I wasn't going that well. Uh, I'm not the smartest person in the world, really, when it comes to dating. But anyway, my dad took me aside and he said to me, he goes, I can't believe it. The one girl in this town is promiscuous, sells her body for a living. You are dating. He goes, wow. And I go, wow. But uh, that still didn't stop me. I continued to try to date her and, uh, you know, get closer to her. But she didn't, she didn't want to. She did because I wasn't going to live in Italy. And she didn't want to move to Canada. So that didn't work out because I, I just didn't want to live there. It was, Italy is nice to visit, but if you're used to the Canadian lifestyle and how we live here, eh, it's good to visit, but not good to live there. In my perspective, everybody's different. Uh, social plans and everything. Here, let me tell you a thing that was there. Telephone. There was uh, telephones and there wasn't much cell phones. But a, a lot of the helplines, the female helplines, a lot of the males thought they were call lines where you talk to a girl and she talks dirty to you. You know what I mean? And they didn't know that they were to help women with the struggles that they were having. And I thought that was really bad. And uh, they, over there was different the way people were treated. Over here we're treated a lot better, believe it or not. I hope I don't get in trouble for that, talking about it really like that. But it's a beautiful country and everything. Yeah. Yeah, di just different mentality, that's all. Uh, what else can I say? You, you think the way they think and we think the way we think and I was brought up here. And that little part about uh, the situation with men and women, I guess that's everywhere really, isn't it? But anyway, I just wanted to tell my story about when I went to Italy and how I had to use my psychic ability in different forms without ever, without ever letting anybody know that I was doing it. And I also was able to change people's minds for a second so that the things that they were going to do that were not so good would be less bad, let's say. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's about it. Yeah, I hope the Italy thing doesn't upset anybody. But Italy is beautiful. Thank you. Bye.